Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, I want to wish you guys all a happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get on with your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month, remaining of October 2020, in regards to love and romance. How are you doing, Leo? How are you guys dealing with the crazy energies that we have going on at the moment? Okay. Your first card here is the Five of Cups next to the Wheel of the Year, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Death card. Wow. All right, Leos, you guys definitely have the wheel turning in your favor. You have the Five of Cups here. So there is a situation that is bringing a lot of sadness to you. Uh, in regards to love and this could have been in the past and passing this could have been uh, a situation where there was some type of distancing between you and your partner uh, not being able to see eye to eye for others of you it could have just been uh, dealing with the loss of a relationship but that's quickly going to be changing for you you have the wheel of the year here this is indicating next to the two of wands there's unexpected events that are going to be unfolding for you in regards to love and romance. You may be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For others, you may be dealing with a Scorpio type of energy. You may also be dealing with um, Taurus energy, like I said. What they're saying here is, again, like I said, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, you've become a bit... I don't want to use that word, um, but I don't want to use the word cruel, but that's the word that they're giving me. And when I think of a person that is cruel, it usually indicates a person that has gone through a lot, a person that has not had it easy. A person that has had to deal with a lot of a lot of people that have betrayed your your trust, Leo, or dealing with people taking advantage of you in some sort. It could be as simplistic as having friends that always come to you for advice, for guidance. But when they see you going through difficulties, it's like no one is around. That's the type of energy that I'm sensing with the Five of Cups. Now, what they're saying here is if you've become closed off or cynical in regards to love because of past situations or past relationships, that's quickly going to be changing for you. You're going into this phase or this cycle where there's going to be a lot of opportunities for love. There's going to be a lot of people being drawn to you, trying to get your attention, trying to take you out. With the nine of wands, there is still some type of reservations. For some of you guys, it could be um, a person that is very much interested in you, but they could have a tendency of not being necessarily the type you usually go for. With the Wheel of uh, Fortune here, it, it could signify that you give a lot of importance to either their physical appearance or to how other people perceive them. Meaning, you make uh, decisions about who you date or who you give your time to, but it does impact you how other people perceive them. Meaning, family members, friends of yours they don't get along with them or if they find reasons to tell you that they're not right for you you start to allow them to get in your head now we have the death card here and this is representing scorpio energy now we recently have ketu and scorpio the eighth house so this is all to do with your hidden secrets this is all to do with your subconscious this is all to do with your hidden desires and what they're telling me here is that ultimately 
your desire is that of finding your happiness or finding a partner that has the same goals and aspirations that you have. But ultimately, fulfillment and happiness is what you're looking for, Leo. And what they're saying here is that you're going to be given that opportunity. It may come, you may feel that at the end of the month or the beginning of November, you're going to have two choices to make. This could represent two people that you're, you know, momentarily either seeing, talking to, or getting to know. But this transformation that's coming in is going to highlight things that have impacted you in the past when it comes to relationships. So again, it could be that of having the need to internalize. Do you give too much importance to people and what they think of your relationships or the partner that you deal with? Do you allow them to impact your love life? Do you have a tendency of going for specific type of individuals? Because the two of wands could represent two, two different people that you may be dealing with, but it can also represent, but it can also represent being more connected with one of the two options. And what they're telling you here is that in regards to the best suitor or partner for you is to go with the one that doesn't bring a lot of desire or lust, but one that can grow on you slow and steady. If you're looking to settle down is what they're saying. So again, for what I'm seeing is you could be drawn to someone that is very like you just feel you know, the chemistry, it's undeniable. You guys really vibe, really get along. And there's another individual that's really actively trying to pursue you, trying to get your attention, but they could be very different from what you usually like, or they can come off as a bit reserved, a bit boring. But this is the type of maturity that you need when it comes to love and when it comes to romance you have to end a certain behavior. So for some of you guys, like I said, if you are dealing with two different people and there's one particularly that excites the shit out of you, that's probably the one you need to stay away from. <laughs> with the death card, there has to be an ending to this behavior to be able to find your happiness or to find the partner that you've been looking for. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, with the five of wands, there's a lot of struggles that you've been dealing with or that you've been trying to overcome. And the tables are going to be turning very quickly. So if you feel like your partner hasn't been putting their time, their effort, or really not really putting a lot of effort in the relationship or keeping the passion going, it's time for you to take a step back, Leo, and allow them to show you with actions what you mean to them. The nine of wands is about giving up. It's about growing tired of a situation. And in order to get some type of result, a different type of result, we have to approach it in a very different way. So if it's usually you, the one that's trying to carry the relationship, if it's usually you, the one that's working and bringing in the bacon, if it's usually you, the one that is willing to say sorry even in situations where it's not even your fault there was a discussion you didn't agree you argued both of you argued it's time for you to get your power back it's time for you to stand your ground it's time for you to speak up in regards to things that you're okay with and you're not okay with If you're tired of carrying this relationship, it's time for you to take action. And sometimes taking action means stepping back and not doing anything, allowing them to be the one to step up, 
allowing them to be the one to show you. Now, for others of you, you may have dealt with a Scorpio in the past. You jumped into a relationship very quickly where you've come to the realization or understanding that you guys have nothing in common. And now you're thinking or wondering or wanting to reach out to this Scorpio type of energy, a Scorpio male or female that you could have dealt with in the past. And it's the turn, the tables turning. This could represent you know, destiny, but it can also represent putting you in a position where you put someone else in that position in the past. And it's almost a feeling of like not having control over the situation. And it could be a situation that you created yourself. It is a general reading. So for some of you guys, it may resonate very differently. But ultimately what they're saying is in order to get a different result, you have to take a different approach. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity, some type of insight. You guys stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.